Polaris Ranger is one of the best performing UTV available in the market. However, having said that, with time and lack of maintenance even with such a high brand value there can be problems in Polaris Ranger ECU as well. If you have been facing problems in ECU for your Polaris Ranger, then the below guide 2023 which provides a complete solution on various ECU related problems in Polaris Ranger will help you find answers. Before getting into our video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. It means a lot to us. And if you are interested in reading such insightful content about UTV, visit our website www.offroadingutv.com. Link is given in the description. Let's back to the video. This comprehensive 2023 solution guide will help you resolve all the ECU related problems in Polaris Ranger. What are the Polaris Ranger ECU problems? Yes, you are at the correct place where you can find all the answers to your problems related to ECU Polaris Ranger such as performance issues, error codes, electrical malfunctions, etc. Whether the problems are related to performance or error code or any other issue, this guide will provide you with solutions. With optimal solutions, you would be able to get your UTV Polaris Ranger back to functionality. Here are some of the problems, performance issues, error codes, stalling or misfiring, electrical malfunctions, software updates or resets, hard starting or no start, throttle response issues, overheating, poor fuel efficiency, loss of power, error code clearing issues, and unresponsive ECU. For complete detail about this topic go and check our website. What is the estimated time for various parts of ECU to start showing problems in UTV? It is for sure that everything has a life and after a number of years it starts to show signs of wear and tear. However, the estimated time for various parts of ECU to start showing problems in UTV can vary and depends on a number of factors such as the level of maintenance, age of the vehicle, driving style, etc. However, there are some of the components in an ECU which are more prone to damage, following are some of the components of an ECU which can suffer problems along with their potential lifespan. First is electronic components, one of the most important. Components in an ECU is the electronic components which consists of electrical resistors, capacitors, and different kinds of circuits. These are quite robust and can work without problems for a very long time, however after several years they can also show signs of wear and tear. Second is wiring harness, there is a jungle of wires which are connected to the ECU which can loosen up due to bumpy rides, lack of temperature control, and other factors. These normally do not show problems until about 5 years, however if the UTV is not taken care of after 5 years it's common to see some problems. Third is sensors there are a variety of sensors which are present in the engine which helps in providing input and output to the ECU. The oxygen sensor, throttle sensor, temperature sensor are just a few of them to name. They do not generally show any problem up until about 50,000 miles but can start to show problems henceforth the UTV is not maintained regularly. Fourth is Relays Relays are Electromagnetic components and last for many years without showing problems. But they may also need replacement after some time if you happen to see them not performing. Fifth is memory storage. Memory storage is an important part of the ECU and can last a very long time unless the programming of the software goes corrupt. In this case the software has to be updated and the memory has to be reprogrammed. The above are only a few of the components of the ECU. Other than these there are several others which can undergo problems. The estimated lifespan of each component varies depending upon several factors. For complete detail about this topic go and check our website. How to prevent ECU problems in your Polaris Ranger. In order to keep your ECU up and running in good condition following points should be taken care of, regular maintenance, it goes without saying that proper, and regular maintenance can take your ECU a long way. 
It is vital to regularly inspect fluid level, wiring and whether you're pulling, address any pulling, issues as soon arm, as possible and get them rectified by a professional mechanic who is well versed in their job. Quality fuel and oil. Unfortunately, they are adulterated Jobs and poor quality oil and fluids and also available in the market which are available at a fraction of the cost. Always stay away from poor quality fuel as they can damage your engine. Avoid water ingress, make Take sure that the water does jobs. not seep into the electrical right and get in touch with the wires, this can Rear result in unnecessary sparks and turns. lead to short circuits. Be extra Are cautious during the rainy season and or drive in long. muddy terrains. You'll go easy Proper storage, surface. other than maintaining it internally, it is also important to protect your Polaris externally.